Hell is the second death. Oh, this one's this one's rough. And this is why I think it's tough as a pastor to talk about these things, because I, I, I don't want any, anyone, not even my worst enemy, I don't want anyone to have to face the second death. It is so terrible. It is so horrible. Jesus talked about it and explained. No one wants to go there. It is, he said, listen, it is better. It is better to gouge out your eye, cut off your hand. It is better to be disfigured right? Entering into the kingdom rather than to be rejected and thrown into hell. It is that serious. Jesus was not messing around. Now, I'm not, I'm not condoning going around and maiming yourself. I'm, I'm telling you, if Jesus is so serious with you to say that things are better to be cut off than to go there, he's not messing around. And so I don't even want my worst enemy to go there. And Jesus says, this is the second death. Now, just for the sake of time today, when we look at the first death, we see how Adam and Eve disobeyed God, and God said, how long will my spirit dwell within man? And so God numbers man's days to 120 days, right? That's in Genesis. Now, after that, they die, and they go into the earth. This is why at funerals we talk about from dust to uh, dust, ashes to ashes, because God said, as far as the curse is, from dust you were formed, to dust you will return. But as God had an ultimate plan for salvation, though the dust goes back, there is still the spirit of a man that, that is left, right? So that's why Sheol had to be there. Now, if you were a part of the discipleship class this morning, you know about how I feel about Sheol. We talked a lot about it this morning and how there might have been a different design for that. Nevertheless, that's why there's a holding place because until the final judgment, until the second death, there has to be something done with the preservation God allows for our spirit to exist in between the resurrection. Okay, now I know I just, right? There has to be a reason. There has to be a place. And so Adam and everybody who descended from Adam was left in this place. For those who had faith in the coming promise that God gave to Eve, I will give you your offspring and he will crush the serpent's head and gave that first messianic promise. For those who had faith in what God was doing, they were preserved. But when Jesus comes, he comes, he descends into the depths after his uh, death on the cross where he says, it is finished. So the atonement's done. He doesn't, he doesn't have to go and suffer anymore. He has suffered. He has paid the price. And now, according to Peter, he goes into the depths and he preaches the good news. And he leads captivity captive, those who are in the bosom of Abraham, into heaven. And now they are all with him. Now, for those of us who place faith after resurrection, we get to bypass the whole thing and go to heaven. Amen. That's good news. I like that news. But for those who are not, they are awaiting the second death, where now God will deal even with the spirit of man that is in rebellion against him. Not only the spirit of man, but all of the demons and all of those who have disobeyed spiritually, that's where their end will be. And it is the second death.